बिफोर बोटिंग इंटर रिकवरी आई एम गेटिंग कमेंट्स लाइक विल यू मेक स्टिल वीडियो सन पोग एक्स ए कस्टम रॉम्स आर नॉट लाइक दैट आई एम गेटिंग कमेंट्स गैस वाई आई विल नॉट मेक वीडियो सन पोग एक्स रे वट्स द रीजन आई जस्ट गिव टू डेज ब्रेक बिकॉज आई डोंट हैव प्रॉपर इंटरनेट कनेक्शन इन माई एरिया आई मीन वाई फाई एंड ऑल्सो आई वेंट आउट साइड सो फॉलो मी इन सोशल मीडिया लाइक इंस्टाग्राम फेसबुक आर वेर एवर यू पॉजिबल इंस्टाग्राम आई विल बी पर्सिंग माई फोटोज देर आई वेंट तिरमला लास्ट टू डेज बिफोर एंड दैट्स हाउ इट इज दैट्स वाई इट्स बिकम डिले दैट्स वाइट नॉट दैट आई वोट मेक एनी वीडियोज लाइक दैट यू वोट थिंक लाइक दैट एंड लेट्स बूट इन टू रिकवरी इन आर्ट बूट फर्स्ट पवर ऑफ दि डे दिस पिक्सल एक्सपीरियंस रॉम ई टूक दिस पोको एक्स टू तिरमला विथ एक्स पिक्सल एक्सपीरियंस रॉम इट वॉज फाइन इनफ टू यूज दिस रॉम and now press the power button and volume up button until it boots into recovery on the poco logo appear you can remove the finger on power button and continuously press the volume up button okay that's done booting into recovery this is a twrp recovery many people ask about where is the link of recovery where is the link of firmware all i have been mentioned in some of the videos and separate video has been made for twrp you can check out that then you can ask me and some people are spamming in instagram and wherever they want which is best from which is best from which is best from there couldn't be a best from unless until you feel it as a best from i don't think so you get answer for that and let's go into wipe and select advanced wipe and select dalvik catch a data and swipe here to wipe it Later, go into install and select the storage here, micro SD card, wherever you downloaded the files. Always flash the firmware, latest firmware. I will be giving in this video also. Make it download; it will be useful. Don't throw it away. Make it use that. Make it use of that firmware always. Surya Global 12.5.4. This is Indian variant, guys. This is Indian variant, 6000 mAh battery. and if you have 5160 mh that is poco x nfc both can be flashable this firmware i am telling it clearly don't spam it again and again regarding that if you don't know ask it i i can tell any doubts but you are spamming which is the best from which is the best from that i can't tell it out next time i want to reply for that if you again and again same post the same comment i mean in the instagram you are deeming the same thing i don't help in that case and this is a raven os surya 12 this is a little bit different rom hence i am trying it out it released 2 to 3 days back but i was not available this is how the flashing as you can see this is a raven os the build date is 2022 second 11th february that day i was not available hence i did not made any video on that and you will get a february security patch wait until it gets flash this rom and if you want to see any different videos i mean if you want to particularly see any problem you are facing in this poco x while flashing you can ask it out i can definitely tell it out but uh, just spamming like which is best rom which is best rom it uh, if i say that best rom you won't be flash will actually you won't be satisfied with that rom it depends upon you actually so don't ask me about best rom i will be specifying in my video it up to you it will suits to you or not you should see all the video part from start to the end some of the features if you know something you can skip it out but that's how it is and it's getting flashed wait until it gets flashed Uh, have any doubt ask me if i tell that that i am flashing that firmware in this poco x indian variant again he is asking is it okay or not is it okay or not what i can say i am flashing here did the my smartphone become anything here no right you need to download properly the firmware the files and you need to use the latest twrp recovery then only you won't face any problems and regarding best rom it's up to you whatever you feel the rom is best that you need to keep it on the custom roms benefit itself is changing again and again now go into 
wipe and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button done go to reboot and select the system this is how the flashing method of raven OS. in this video i will be explaining in deep everything will be explained in my video always regarding any custom row if i flash it i will explain everything that's my video how it is actually and if you like the video give it a like and if you still not subscribe subscribe to my channel and also all of the bell notifications such that you will get a video first to you whenever i upload you will get notified and let's begin this video here comes the logo hey hi hello welcome back to my new video guys this is sampati watching sampati Sampix youtube channel and this is the poco x3 i have here indian variant 6 gb 128 gb version and just flash the raven os and with android toilets as you can see and device it recognizes as sure you can use this same rom for karna also no problem regarding that raven version relieve and with latest build with latest security patch february 5th 2022 and kernel user is 4.14.246 and build number you can see here 11th february this has been released this how the quick settings panel you get and i have been running the cpu throttling test for last five minutes you can check out here maximum is 111 and average is 107 and minimum is 92 but it has been not throttled that much here but scores are a little bit low even in geekbench scores i will show you here let me go into geekbench scores as you can see here also the scores are pretty less in my opinion for snapdragon 732g as you can see single score 377 and multi score is 1171 which is very less and let's see the anti to benchmark results here it's fine enough but not great also as you can see 2 lakh 92 thousand and temperature raise is just 0 0.4 degrees celsius and 2 percent battery has been drained and widgets are working fine and at all this is the raven wise hope home screen and app dryer you get and also let me show you like if you hold and press here you get home settings and wallpaper sun style let's see any wallpapers yeah you will get blue mund living in all the android 12 wallpapers are pre-installed here and let's see the dialer let me increase the volume here okay you will get direct video call feature i am using reliance geo sim here let's see there is no call recording feature here as you see here and into the quick settings panel this is how the quick settings panel you got if you want you can add some of the options like direct sound as hibernate mode refresh rate some are given and coming to screen recording options as you can see some people ask about this record audio you can record device audio with microphone that option has been given sorry that i have many people asking about this from long time from now onwards i will include that in my videos and coming to speed test i have here like 100 mps geo giga fiber connection it's pulling up to 92 95 this is fine and even with mobile data also i tried it's fine enough and uh, carrier aggregation no problem regarding that also in this rom and coming to camera you get this kind of camera application it's not usable that much but i tried this arno build gcam it's working fine see guys if you want to get links some i can share with youtube description not everything i can share there will be like some restrictions and limitations so i told you to follow in instagram for just sharing the files for the sake of communication only i mean to sharing links only i told you to dm me in insta or twitter or even in facebook page also you can dm me there i can share my links that's how it uh, works no means i can't share in everything in youtube description so i i hope you guys understood and regarding this how the camera application and i already used the exam xml file also i now build gcam it's working fine even video works fine this fine here and coming to benchmark results i shown bgm i will show you within a seconds and drm info you get level one certification no problem regarding watching hd content 
on safety net status it's get passed pretty good you can use google pay whatsapp my geo all apps going to be working fine no problem regarding that in this rom raven os with february build for poco xr nfc surya karna whatever you call this all the apps you get fm radio is installed here in this rom and let me go into settings here you get all the options and into the systems you get gestures and system navigation there is no option to increase the gesture bar length and radiation swipe to screenshot is given this all the options you get if you want to change the keyboard theme you can change from here that's underneath here system settings and into the security options you get basic settings like fingerprint unlock and pattern or whatever pin you want to. there is no face unlock let me show you the fingerprint scanner as you can see it's quick enough no problem that's how it is and let me go back to setting before that this power button you get power button and advanced restart button is also included in this rom and display settings you get a refresh rate yeah it's there minimum refresh rate 60 and maximum refresh rate is also given here and display color cal calibration is also given by default here i'll show you one more thing like colors if you keep adaptive it's so much dull hence i kept boosted that i want to tell it out so much dull the display was before and adaptive brightness working fine screen timeout and night mode is given and dark mode i don't think so in android 12 we get options it's not pitch black condition that i don't like it and feel free to comment down guys if you have any problem or if you like some other options or if you have any ideas to make completely dark of this settings panel and everything you can comment down below and accessibility menu is given as you can see shortcut if you enable this you get a option here it's a handy feature you can use all the toggles without using the actual buttons you can use them as a shortcut you can definitely try that also and coming to raven house you get plenty of options here coming to status bar you get network traffic indicators heads up and show data disabled icon show volte icon print of options are given here battery percentage you can choose here battery styles are also plenty are given in this rom vibration and touch also you can enable or disable from here these are the status bar settings and lock screen settings you get double tap to screen sleep on lock screen and media art blur level you can adjust from here and charging information also you can enable or disable not plenty of options given here customization but limited and those all given here and notifications you get all the options here blink light dot and app icon snoozing all options enhanced notifications you can choose here and apps default apps are also you can change from here and here also you get game settings game dashboard do not disturb for games that's how it's a simple gaming mode i can say and battery life as you can see it hasn't recorded for first time i don't know and it to reboot every time then only it shows the statistics of battery but anyhow in my initial impression the battery life is also very good and ui is also smooth enough as you can see earlier it was kept to 60 hertz now it's 120 it's smooth enough not bad just benchmark results are low that's it and camera application all are working fine all the basic things are working fine even with wired earphones you get pretty good audio quality no change in that and even bluetooth earphones also i tried no problem regarding that also and let me show you the charging animation once and i'll go to bgmi you get that wobbling effect and that tall style and you get some of the information down below here i hope i explained everything and let's go into bgmi gameplay and auto calibration auto brightness calibration was pretty good in this rom and let me adjust it okay it's full enough and let me show you the graphic settings here as you can see smooth plus ultra hd and high you get there is no option of like smooth plus extreme you can use gfx tool to enable that and let me show you one more thing like 
okay let's play the game and this are the volume panel i kept to 70 80 percent now fine enough no problem gameplay is fine that's how the gameplay in this room it's fine enough it was easy to playable i mean it was good to play fine enough no problem regarding that the performance is really good even with simple tasks and even high tasks like gaming also it's fine enough and that's all i hope i explained everything we'll meet with another interesting videos in my channel i will be definitely making out poco xa custom roms no need to ask about that i will definitely make it out unless until i am busy or i went outside then it gets delayed that's it that's it in this video guys thank you for watching we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now